Welcome to EPG Patshala. This module entitled Positive Discrimination is the first module of Unit 4 entitled Women and Reservation Contemporary Debate of the Women's Studies course. The objective of this module is to introduce the concept of positive discrimination with special reference to reservations for women in India. In this module, the first thing that I do is to introduce the concept of positive discrimination then I try to cover the debate surrounding the notion of positive discrimination, the arguments that are given regarding how positive discrimination as a compensatory mechanism is needed for societies where inequality has been institutionalized in one form or the other due to the hierarchical structure of the society. In the next section, subsequent section, I try to uh, throw light on how the principle of positive discrimination has been applied and conceptualized in the Indian context. In this section, I try to cover the constitutional provisions that are being made for, uh, for practicing or applying positive discrimination to specified groups in society. In the subsequent section, I try to discuss positive discrimination in, in the context of India for women, women in particular. And finally, I summarize the chapter in the concluding section. Positive discrimination, what, it, what is it? In any society, there may be groups or specified groups of society that have suffered historical disadvantage due to institutionalized mechanisms of inequality and structures of inequality. These groups speci need special ameliorative measures and compensatory mechanisms so that the historical wrongs may be undone. And these compensatory mechanisms or the ameliorative measures are termed by di in different ways, including positive discrimination, reverse discrimination, compensatory discrimination, positive action and affirmative action. Positive discrimination actually refers to a situation where individuals or groups are accorded special treatment in order to undo the wrongs done in the past. And it is, it is actually construed as a compensatory mechanism for these wrongs which have been accrued, which have accrued to groups in the past. Such wrongs may accrue out of institutionalized inequalities in society. Positive discrimination has been practiced in many countries across the world, including the United States, India, Malaysia and Sri Lanka among others. All these countries are subscribers to the notion of equality of opportunity. However, it is believed that when there is a membership of specific groups where historically they have been disadvantaged, then equality of opportunity is something which is unachievable or the, those groups are deprived of equality of opportunity and therefore they must be compensated. In this sense, positive discrimination is the philosophy or principle which actually tries to attain equality for those groups who have been hitherto not equal or less than equal. And it is, in this sense, it is also uh, an intended or deliberate departure from the notion of formal equality. I shall now start to introduce the concept of positive discrimination. I shall now cover the debate around the concept. Positive discrimination has raised critical questions and moral debate based on philosophical principles of justice and equality and their application in practice. In fact, the term positive discrimination is sometimes considered as an oxymoron, a self-contradiction. Given the best of intentions, discrimination based on ascribed rather than achieved characteristics is considered unjust. While the rationale for positive discrimination policies proceeds from an awareness of the entrenched and cumulative structural character of historical inequality and an urge to undo it or at least compensate for it, it entails a systematic and deliberate departure from norms of formal equality. It is rather premised on the assumption that formal equality may tend to perpetuate and increase the historically existent inequalities and injustices in any society. While the notion of justice is itself complex, its confrontation with another complex notion of equality marks the domain of policies for positive discrimination amounting to a spate of controversies. Positive discrimination may take various forms like reservations, quotas and affirmative action. Acharya points towards the fact 
that the theme of affirmative action usually triggers controversies and evokes passionate reactions and debates among both the adherents and detractors. Both the most ardent advocates of affirmative action and its most vehement foes loudly proclaim their allegiance to the ideal of equality. Mohanty also points out, quote, the quest to rectify historical wrongs has triggered new and unanticipated social tensions, unquote. However, the rationale for furthering the policies of affirmative action varies from place to place and time to time. Mohanty has given two major approaches for justifying affirmative action. First, forward-looking, that is, utility-based, which appeals exclusively to the good result expected from such a program. And second, backward-looking, that is, reparations-based, that focuses on past injustice and demands reparation. However, looking at the causes for controversies, particularly in India, he further adds that, quote, in India, affirmative action is essentially rooted in approach based on past injustice and reparations. Positive discrimination expresses wrong messages when they are based exclusively or primarily on either of these two arguments, unquote. Rai also points towards two kinds of programs, programs for compensatory justice and redistribution programs. She writes, compensatory programs differ from redistribution programs mainly with the regard to concern with the past. Redistribution is concerned with eliminating the present inequalities, while compensatory justice is concerned not only with this, but with also providing compensation for unfair burdens borne in the past. Now we come to the Indian context. It has been accepted that some sections of Indian society faced historic disadvantage and ameliorative measures are needed to undo the wrongs. It is no more disputed that the Indian society has been horizontally and vertically split and stratified on the basis of caste. Caste in India has been believed to have bred structure of cumulative institutionalized inequality. Since it has been a site for historical injustice and disadvantage, the principle of positive discrimination was adopted to retrieve the disadvantaged sections, especially the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes from the cul de sac. According to Christoph Jeffrelet, India was probably the first field for experimentation with positive discrimination policies initiated by the Christian missionaries and the colonial authorities for the advancement of the underprivileged. The British initiated the caste-based quotas in the country and also established a nationwide legal system with the norm of equality before the law. Acharya also writes that affirmative action in India can be traced back to British India through which the British ensured the equal representation of different communities. He further says that their discrimination was based on two principles. One, to create a balanced situation between competing communities and the second was to divide anti-colonial forces or the nationalist front. In fact, the central problem that confronted the Constituent Assembly while framing the Constitution of India was the problem of justice. Thus, the problem of justice acquired central focus of the Constitution makers while they grappled with the challenge of striking at the roots of accumulated historical injustice. The framers of the Constitution had a particular conception of justice in their mind. This conception as reflected in the underlying philosophy of our constitution is multidimensional and encompasses not only the urge to foster socio-economic but also political justice. Socio-economic justice implied rendering material and substantive benefits to the historically disadvantaged sections in order to bridge the gap between different sections of the society and give the poor the right and opportunity to live a decent human existence. Political justice implied the right and opportunity to share political power and participate in decision making through political representation. However, apparently the socio-economic aspect was given precedence over political justice. The three spheres in which policies based on philosophy of positive discrimination 
have been applied in practice in India primarily are first political representation, second admissions to educational institutions mainly higher education institutions and employment. Ashok Acharya defines affirmative action as quote a formal effort to provide increased employment and education opportunity for unrepresented and disadvantaged groups at a level sufficient to overcome past pattern of discrimination and present structural inequalities. The constitution makers while ensuring equality before law and equal protection of law and prohibiting discrimination against any citizen on grounds of religion, race, caste, sex, place of birth provided space for positive discrimination for the weaker sections of society via articles 15.4, 16.4, 3.30, 3.32, 3.35, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.
Unlike the SCSTs, the debate on positive discrimination for women in the form of reservations for women took a particularly sharp turn in the case of such provisions in legislative bodies. In fact, as the history of women's representation tells us, the issue of reservations for women has faced ambiguity even amongst women representatives. When the question of reservations for women came up before the Constituent Assembly, it was rejected by the leaders of the women's movement themselves. The rejection was made on the plea that this kind of preferential treatment is to underestimate the strength of women to compete as equals and would imply an admission of inferiority. Further, as Veena Majumdar writes, quote, the Constitution's radical departure from inherited social values represented to women of that generation its intrinsic quality. For the women of my generation, the acceptance of gender equality in the Constitution was the fulfillment of a dream. However, the confidence with which this rejection was made and the pleasure with which the provision of gender equality in the Constitution was embraced could not survive for long. For this optimism, belonged to the women from, quote, progressive middle class families, trained in higher education and having little experience of what life was really like outside their protected and privileged existence in families, communities or institutions which did not feel it necessary to adapt to the constitutional guarantees or remained unaware of them. A quarter century later, by 1974, when the report towards equality became public, it shattered the illusion of equality. The question of reservations for women surfaced again before the Committee on the Status of Women in India CSWI. Opposition to the question of reservations for women came on similar counts as earlier. However, the report was an eye-opener and revealed the gross underrepresentation of women in all kinds, all counts of life. However, the report was an eye-opener and revealed the gross underrepresentation of women in all counts of life, particularly in decision-making. On the issue of rural women, the committee was unanimous in making the recommendation of establishment of statutory women's panchayats. The CSWI, however, rejected the reservation of seats for women in parliament and state assemblies. This was, although not an easy decision. The members could not reach consensus on this point and the decision was reached at by a majority vote wherein it was decided to uphold the position taken by women leaders in the Constituent Assembly. There were several points discussed in both favour of and against the question of reservations for women. While the aforementioned points were discussed after long practice of positive discrimination, in the case of SCs, STs and OBCs, in the case of women, these very points were instrumental in rejection of reservations for women in legislative bodies as early as the 1970s when the report of the CSWI came out. This becomes evident on studying the reasons given by the CSWI for not favouring women's reservations in legislative bodies. The question surfaced again only in the 1990s which have been defined as by Mary E. John as, quote, watershed years in India's history, a time of transition when the nation state we took for granted was subjected to unprecedented pressures from within and without, unquote. John locates the introduction of the 81st Amendment Bill in the context of liberalization of the Indian economy, the anti-mandal agitations against the extension of reservations to OBCs, the other backward classes, the emergence of lower caste parties such as the Bahujan Samaj Party and the Samajwadi Party <coughs> and the rise of the dominance of a BJP-led coalition at the center. It was in this context that the Women's Reservation Bill was mired in the conflict over demand for subquotas for women belonging to other backward classes and minorities. Speculating about the reasons why political parties who supported the reservation of seats for women in local bodies are reluctant regarding similar legislation at the parliamentary level, Shirin Rai and Komut Sharma wonder, 
quote, Could it be that enhanced representation of women in the national parliament spells a far greater and immediate challenge to the gendered status quo within the party political system? Or conversely, is it that the pattern of quota systems in India have shown that the elite-based strategies of empowerment are less helpful to groups seeking greater recognition than those based on grassroots institutions? Unquote. While trying to identify the reasons for such hot contestation, the moot point is that the philosophy of positive discrimination itself is not free from contestation and debate. Plural societies have faced problems like group politics and stigmatizing of the positively discriminated groups upon implementing positive discrimination policies. A major question regarding ascriptively based positive discrimination policies is the question of termination. Once begun, it is often politically difficult to terminate such practices. One of the major issues strangling the Women's Reservation Bill was the question of the termination of the reservation thus granted. However, after the derailing of the bill four times in the Lok Sabha, scholars have been debating on the causes for rejection of reservations for women. Particularly surprising has been the near smooth passage of the one-third reservation of seats for women in local bodies incorporated, incorporated in the 73rd and 74th constitutional amendment bills. This points to the fact that it is not the theoretical debate surrounding the principle of positive discrimination that is instrumental behind the fate that the issue of women's reservation is meted out with in the Indian context. A bigger issue is perhaps, as Randall points out, that, quote, demands for reservations for women impinge on and must compete with actual or claimed reservations on behalf of other social categories in what is a crowded and bitterly contested arena." Unquote. This brings us to the debate on legislative gender quotas and the contestation therein, which has been cited as one of the most significant causes for the derailment of Women's Reservation Bill. To summarize, in this module, we have discussed what the notion of positive discrimination means. We have seen that there can be institutionalized inequalities within a society because of which some historical injustices have accrued to some specified groups of people. In order to compensate for these historical injustices, some kind of compensatory mechanisms, some kind of ameliorative measures need to be taken. And these ameliorative measures or compensatory mechanisms have been variously named. They have been named as not only positive discrimination, but also reverse discrimination, positive action, affirmative action, compensatory discrimination and several other names. The principle of positive discrimination basically has to do with how historical just injustices can be met with some processes initiated in the present. We have also seen that the issue of positive discrimination has been surrounded with intense debate. And then we have seen that how the Constitution of India has tried to actually provide, uh, actually compensate for the historical injustices done to specified groups of society. While the demand for positive discrimination for groups like the SCs, STs and OBCs have been already met or tried to be met, the question of reservations for women actually has, has been surrounded with intense debate and controversies. That is also the reason why the the Women's Reservation Bill has been mired and derailed four times in the Lok Sabha. In the following modules, we shall look into more of these causes. Thank you.